I got started when I was about five years old. And, and you're now, uh, what, 26? Um, Somewhere around that. Make me so old. I'm sorry. <laughs> 22. But uh, no. uh, you can do the math. I was born in 58. Okay. So, uh, but you have to know when this was recorded, so. I guess you can't. You have to know when this was, re when we're doing this to be able to accurately get the math. But, no, I'm 54. Okay. And you started it? I started when I was about five. Uh, I loved puppets. I don't know what it was in, uh, in me as a kid, but puppets just absolutely fascinated me. And when I saw my first ventriloquist, uh, uh, the, the large wooden, it was a martial figure that she was using, uh, it was the coolest puppet I'd ever seen in my life. And so I went, I want to do that, because if I do that, then I'll get to have puppets that look like that. Because I, I had no idea where you got puppets like that, you know, or how they came into being. But I put the two together. I was five, you know, I'm going, hey, if I do ventriloquism, I didn't even, don't even think I knew the word then. But if I do what I'm seeing here, then I'll have puppets like that. So that's how it started. Who was the ventriloquist that you saw? Vonda K. Van Dyke. Uh, she was Miss Arizona in 1964, and then she became uh, uh, Miss, uh, Miss America for 1965. And we had a local amusement park in Arizona called Legend City that my folks took me to when I was a kid, about four years old. She was performing there and uh, saw her perform, and that's when I saw Curly Q, which was her martial figure. And uh, uh, that's who it was. Uh, after seeing her perform, that's all I wanted to do was grow up and become Miss America. But <laughs> how'd that turn out for you? Uh, I, I I missed my shot. I was second runner up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost out in the talent competition. I I should have done what she did and do the ventriloquism. Instead, I did my my baton twirling routine, and it just it, I, I didn't have the same flair. Swimsuits, swimsuit competition you aced though, with the swimsuits. Oh, the swimsuit, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, <laughs> absolutely. As I stumble over everything. <laughs> so you're five years old and you see this ventriloquist and yes. you go, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. How did you learn? What my you do? my folks uh, for my birth my birthday's in December, and for uh, so that was summertime that I saw her. And then for, by December, they bought me uh, Jimmy Nelson's Instant Ventriloquism album, and what they told me was a Danny O'Day, but it was actually the, uh, you know, with the little string in the back of the neck. Uh, but it was actually a Jerry Mahoney that, that, that I had, uh, but it didn't matter to me. He was Danny O'Day to me because that was Jimmy. I, it, was, it was some point between seeing Vonda K. Van Dyke and uh, my birthday that I became acquainted with Jimmy Nelson. And it, it might have even been through the record that made me aware of Jimmy, and then I started seeing Jimmy on TV and other places and seeing other ventriloquists. Uh, I, I really, it was a long time ago, so, but I'm not sure the exact chronology, 